In today's funny story joke, we dive headfirst into the chaotic life of Dave, an ordinary husband who manages to turn a night of drunken antics into an unexpected triumph. Ever had one of those mornings where you wake up with a hilariously hangover so massive, you're convinced your entire life has turned upside down? Dave certainly has. Strap in and hold on to your coffee, because this hilarious tale of confusion, comedy, and accidental heroism is about to take you on a laugh-out-loud journey. Meet Dave, an average guy with an above-average appetite for beers on Friday nights. Last night was no exception. He and his buddies hit every pub in town, starting with the Tipsy Turtle and ending at the Drunken Dragon, a bar so sketchy even the roaches carry pepper spray. They laughed, told tall tales, and attempted to sing karaoke, much to the horror of everyone within earshot. Dave, naturally, was the life of the party, convincing everyone that ordering another round was always a good idea. Fast forward to the next morning. Dave wakes up feeling like he's been run over by a stampede of wild elephants. He attempts to open his eyes, but they feel glued shut. When he finally manages to crack them open, the first thing he notices is the pounding in his head, like a drummer practicing for a heavy metal band right inside his skull. Every beat of his heart sends shockwaves through his brain, and he wonders if he somehow managed to swallow a jackhammer last night. The room is spinning, and he can't tell if it's because he's still drunk or if his bed is now located on a merry-go-round. Groaning, he tries to piece together the previous night. Bits and pieces come back to him in flashes, dancing on the bar, attempting to ride a mechanical bull, and challenging a stranger to an arm wrestling match, which he lost spectacularly. Each memory brings a fresh wave of embarrassment and another throb in his head. He rolls over and notices something strange on his bedside table, and that's when things start to get really interesting. He sees a couple of aspirin and a glass of water on the bedside table. This is strange. Usually, after a night like this, He's greeted by his wife's icy silence and a list of chores long enough to make Hercules weep. Instead, someone has thoughtfully placed a hangover kit by his side. He looks around the room, and everything is in perfect order. His clothes for the day are neatly placed at the foot of the bed, looking crisp and ironed. Now, this is definitely weird. Either he's woken up in an alternate universe, or he's still dreaming. Tentatively, he gets out of bed, trying to piece together the fragments of last night. As he stumbles towards the kitchen, he finds a note on the table from his wife. Honey, breakfast is on the table. I left early for grocery shopping. Love you. Oh no, I must have died. Dave thinks. This can't be real. In his groggy state, he's convinced that this is some kind of afterlife where hangovers are taken seriously and treated with kindness. He shuffles into the kitchen, and sure enough, there's a hot breakfast and a newspaper waiting for him. He pinches himself. Nope, not a dream. But something is very, very wrong. His previous world did not treat men like this after a heavy night out with the boys. His son, Timmy, is already up, munching on his cereal. Dave decides to probe for information. Hey, buddy, what happened last night? He asks, trying to sound casual. You came home around 3 a.m. drunk as a skunk. Timmy replies without looking up from his cereal. You broke some plates, peed in the hall, and stumbled into the door. Classic. Okay, now that sounds more like it. Dave nods, relieved that at least some things haven't changed. But it still doesn't explain the bizarre hospitality he's receiving. He decides to dig deeper. So why is everything in order? I was expecting a big fight with your mom. Dave says, bracing himself for the explanation. But this funny story joke ain't over just yet. Timmy finally looks up, a mischievous grin spreading across his face. Oh, that part was hilarious. 
Mom dragged you to the bedroom, and when she tried to take off your clothes and shoes, you yelled, Lady, leave me alone. I'm married, and I love my wife. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.